this is test two. And uh, I'm at about 800 meters from the access point. So, as in test one, we're going to first connect it to the access point. There we go. Now, uh, I'm going to run a throughput test see how the uh, performance, how the AP performs at this distance. Now we're doing a download test, you can see that we, we, get, we get about 4 megabits per second in the downlink direction throughput. And we're doing uplink now, uh, and we get even better throughput at 5 megabits per second. So in summary, you can see that at this, at 800 meter, we get about 4 Back throughput in both uplink and downlink direction, and with this kind of performance, you know, users would be able to run all kinds of applications like real IP, video streaming, etc. Now um, we are going to uh, next. We are going to play a YouTube video, the transformer video on the iPhone. Remember that we are at 100 meters and. You can see the iPhone is already connected to the uh, Super Wi-Fi. So you can see the IP address and everything. So, so let's visit uh, YouTube now. go so let's play the video and see how good it is so you can see that the download speed is still much faster than the uh, play speed okay it is a, a little bit slower than what we were when we were at uh, test, test Number one, where we are at uh, 250 meters from the Super Wi-Fi base station, but it is still very fast. And you can see that the movie plays very smoothly. See that the movie is almost downloaded at this point. So in summary, the Super Wi-Fi space station performs very well at 800 meters. Um, uplink both, uplink down throughput is about five megabits per second, and um, no problem at all playing video on the iPhone and. It's running different kinds of applications on the iPhone as well. Okay, so at this distance, we are able to support uh, a lot of clients, good performance at this distance.